What's up, guys? NFL preseason week one preview. Your boy Francis. Football is back. Cheers to football being back. Of course, we keep a hype. Thanks to all the Red Bulls that I drink. Please, Red Bulls, please sponsor your boy. Football is back. The NFL season will be kicking off this week, kind of. It's preseason, but it still counts as football, so it's like one of those things. Uh, for a couple of quarters, it's going to be a real football, though, so that's definitely a good thing. This is In The Box Collection. I am your host, Francis, and we're just going to be looking at some of the games, uh, more specifically the Thursday games. It's going to be the Washington um, at New England and the Pittsburgh at Steelers at the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Washington New England, pretty exciting game. The Washington football team still is the Washington football team. They don't have a name. Is anybody else bothered by this? Like, don't get me wrong. Yes, they probably should focus on naming their starting QB um, and figuring out how to tank without ruining the careers and hopes and dreams of Monte Sweat and Chase Young, who are like are like their star players. Um, and they also also got to avoid getting fined or targeted by the NFL for tanking as well. But still, yeah, focus on getting a name for your QB, right? Whether it's going to be Fitzmagic or it's going to be Heineke or Heineke or Josh Allen. But, dude, you guys still don't have a name. If you ask me, the NFL should bring Adam Silver to take the role as a commissioner for the NFL as well as for the NBA. Okay, um, I put money on it. Adam Voldemort Silver, will he will fix some of the chaos that the NFL has, has been dealing with, okay? I bet you in his first week, he'll probably, be, he'll probably fix the whole thing with the whole Washington football, no name for the team concept, right? I'm talking like Adam Voldemort will walk into the, like the pitch meeting and will be like, hey, guys. Uh, yo, Washington, I will now pronounce you the Bobcats, the Washington Bobcats. He will, pro he will fix the whole thing. He'll be like, there you go. You are now the Washington Bobcats. Go forth, tank, and proud. Tank and proud. And that will be the slogan for the whole Washington football team, now pronounced the Bobcats. People are going to be chanting on NBA, tank and proud, Bobcats, tank and proud, Bobcats. Ah, uh, yeah. <coughs> My bad, tank and proud, whatever. So, yeah, the Bobcats versus the Patriots. For the Patriots, all three games in the preseason should be used to prep and groom Mac Jones to take over for Cam Newton as early as week three, but not later than week five. Okay, so just saying, crack Mac Jones is the new bad boy in town. Bake Mac Jones, call him whatever you want to. At least that's my hope, because seriously, Mr. Crack Mac Jones, I would like to let you know that I'm deeply invested into your sports cards. I'm talking like $30 deep into your rookie cards. I have a stack of your rookie cards, like $30 worth of it, and hey, Ah, I'm trying to get some return on my investments, but make it happen. All right. So Washington, New England. We'll talk about that, about a winner here in a little bit. So next game is going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, second game of the night, Steelers, Eagles. The Steelers already got a taste of winning, kind of, in a sense. Uh, they beat the Cowboys in the Hall of Fame game. So that's kind of like a win, but not really. It's like good, but bad, but like, I don't know. I, I'm 50-50 on these games when it comes to my personal interest of them. When it comes down to it, um, the Steelers are probably going to run their three years of backup the same way they did last week. They'll be Mason Rudolph, Dwayne Haskins, Joshua Dobbs, which Dobbs was probably the best of three from last week, but whatever. Um, mainly to see who's going to be the backup for Ben Frothelsberger, of course, and to see if they can get any bites from like free agency. Hashtag Phillip Rivers still wants to play football. Um, I'm pretty sure somebody will pick him up at some point in time. Maybe the Steelers when Ben goes down, or maybe the Colts. Who knows? They're just trying to show off whatever they have. Um, real quick, last week for the Steelers, uh, all three, the trio of them, uh, combined for 174 yards, which is like, it's not good at all. It's like pretty horrible, especially when you have three QBs out there throwing for like almost negative yards. Now, the cool thing about it is that Chase Claypool somehow, some way now has magnets on his hands. So he's going to catch anything and everything that is in his sight. I'm talking like this dude is going to be amazing. So, Chase Claypool, it's going to be amazing. Now, um, when it comes to the Eagles, the Eagles will always be the Eagles. Um, personally, I want the Eagles, more specifically, I want Jalen Hurts to do good things, to do great things. Um, also, I'm also deeply invested into his cards, maybe like 35 bucks. Who knows? And I also like every time I invest in But in my opinion, maybe it's I'm a little biased in a sense, but I like Hurts. I watched him play when he was with Alabama. He went to Oklahoma, and I think he's a capable player of not just what the new QBs can do, but also what a guy that has a lot to prove for himself. Just like he did Alabama, just like he tried to do Oklahoma, the NFL will be his next step. He has a ton of potential. Um, but then again, it is the Eagles, and they kind of like, is the Eagles. I don't even know. 
But uh, Ryan, actually, Ryan left the Eagles. So, yeah, you guys asked Ryan about the Eagles. Now, NFL preseason kickoffs Thursday night. Um, in terms of to watch, what to in terms of what to watch out for, um, there's a couple of things. There's very limited information overall because it's the preseason game one. We already know what to expect. Uh, for Washington, I'm going to be looking to see who is going to be their starting QB and how they rotate it. Um, you know, the Washington football team wants, and they're also going to change it to the Bobcats because, you know, hey, hashtags in the box collection, said it here first. Uh, Fitz Magic is fun and all, but he won't be the starter for the full season. So they have to get their backup or whoever's going to take over first. Fitz Magic is going to be there for a good amount of time. He's there for a good time and a long time, and he's too old to be the QB of the future, and he's... Yeah, I don't know. You gotta figure something out. The Patriots should really be all about Craig Mac Jones and hoping that he can build chemistry with any of his receivers, whether it's Harry, whether it's anybody else in that lineup that is healthy enough to and can be able to run plays or catch a ball. Um, it's not gonna be about Cam Newton. It shouldn't be about Cam Newton. Pretty much, Cam Newton should be there like on a rental chair, and that's about it. Uh, the Steelers are pretty set, and they already have their, their confidence in full band band's gonna be able to do it. And more than likely the backup will be Rudolph because you know he was there last year. Um offensively, really about just finding out who's gonna be their second or third receiver when it behind Chase Claypool, maybe Washington in a sense, maybe like a running back. But the Steelers are kind of boring in a sense. Um uh, for Philly, is it's gonna be the wild card as usual when you be in a game like this. Um I would definitely I'm gonna, I I want Philly to do good. I want I want Hurts to do pretty good. And, you know, but there's too many unknowns. Like, did anybody know that Joe Flacco was actually the backup for Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles? Like, did you guys know that? I did not know that. In terms of winners, I'm going to pick the Patriots with a great showing by Big, by Big Mac Jones. And I'm going to pick the Philly because they could really use any kind of wins that they could get to to get any momentum. Um, that's what I have for you guys for Thursday night games. Thank you guys for watching. I know that I went a little bit fast, but you guys know I'm excited. Plus, I'm drinking Red Bull. It's I'm, you know, guys, you guys know who it is. You guys, I keep it hype. Uh, you guys let me know what you guys think about the Thursday night games. Let me know if you guys are going to watch it. Like I said, I'm picking the, what did I pick? I picked the Patriots, and I picked the Eagles. Shout out to the Beckham Carts. Make sure you guys uh, join our groups. Join our supporters in the card community. Just real quick. 40, 30 seconds to, like, oh, shit. 30 seconds to uh, promote ourselves. Uh, okay, so in the box selection is yours truly. Make sure you guys check out uh, Beckham Cards on Facebook. Check out Angel Bubblegum and Leather. Also has a podcast on Spotify. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm looking forward to having a lot of guests this year for as long as I can. So for the next, like, two months, I'm going to go ham on YouTube because I really appreciate you guys' support. And you guys always tell me to keep it up. And let's get it done. This is in the box selection. Like, like comment, and subscribe. Always staying hype. Deuces, hashtag thank you, Tessie, for buying me a new house so I can record and do great things. Deuces. Boom.